gave the highest priority to the building of Mary Kathleen Township. The provision of adequate permanent living quarters was a matter of urgency if the rest of the project was to proceed according to plan. This architecturally designed model township was completed before any uranium oxide was produced. The whole town was built in over just over a year with houses completed at a rate of one per day. The township is loca located approximately five kilometres from the mine. The ground in this area was more suitable for the development of home gardens and the water pipe from Lake Corolla would pass reasonably close by. The town was developed into five residential areas bounded by creeks and other natural features. Every effort was made to retain and preserve the existing native trees and many hundreds of flowering, flowering ornamental plants were added. The shopping and community centre was sited centrally. The community consisted of approximately 1,100 people, made up of flowers, I mean families, Are you, you're not recording. I am. Oh, and about 200 single men. These people occupied 2,000, no, 222 dwellings, including the single men's quarters. The community store provided a full range of everyday grocery needs, such as clothing, footwear and hardware. Located in the town square was a cafeteria, milk bar, bakery, barber shop, post office, library, two banks, a beer garden and recreational club in which billiards and darts were played. An open-air cinema entertained five nights a week. The swimmers had an Olympic standard swimming pool, an oval-enabled sporting club to play cricket, hockey and football. Tennis courts, lawn bowls and a golf club provided further sporting options. Two churches, established with the help of Rio Tinto, overlooked the town from their elevated sites on the eastern ridge, providing for the spiritual needs of the community. The second operation ceases production and the mine closes. The entire town and mine infrastructure, including all the houses, are auctioned. Many of the houses and buildings are transported to Mount Isa and Cloncurry and are still in use today.